once again. Today I have a little bit of a product review in store for you. I won't. Recently I was reached out to by a company called AMR Hair and Beauty and was asked if I would like to just try out some of their products and give my honest review for them. So I'm not going to beat around the bush. I am not paid to do this. They were just kind enough to send me some products for me to try and if I liked to do a review. When speaking to them in the first place, I did say to them if I do not like the product, I will not be reviewing them. Now don't think just because they sent me this product for free it does not mean that this will be in any way changing my view on the product. If I like it, I will tell you. If I do not like it, you will not see this video. <laughs> now the product that they were wanting me to try was of course their No Yellow Shampoo. This is by the brand Fanola. I think that's how it's pronounced. Fanola? Fanola? You get the gist. As you can see, I have not opened this. So they did send me the No Yellow Shampoo and the No Yellow Hair Mask. So I will be trying both of these products together for you guys. So this will be a little bit of a step-by-step -step process for me as I've never used any No Yellow Shampoo before, as you can tell by my very yellow hair and mind the terrible straightening job that I did for you. I wanted you guys to be able to see what my hair looked like before this. However, I hadn't brushed it in a couple days. I'm not gonna lie to you. And it was pretty messy. So I thought I'd just give it a quick little straighten for you all, just so you could get a full kind of look of the color of my hair before I go and use this. I will be going for a shower in a minute and I will be using this product and I will come back and show you my hair wet and then I'll show you my hair dry. And then I'll check in with you maybe after a week of using it and then two weeks of using it. I wanted to give this a pretty thorough use just to see if it did change after each use, but I will keep checking in with you as I progress with it. Now they did send me a whole heap of other products, which I have right here, which included the No Orange Shampoo and Mask, also some Restructuring Shampoo and Restructuring Conditioner, as well as some Restructuring Fluid Crystal Serum of some kind, I'm guessing maybe to put in your hair after, I'll have to have a little read up on this, but can you hear that? That's glass, that's fancy. So obviously you'd replace kind of, if you use Moroccan oil or something with your damp hair afterwards, I'm pretty sure this is to replace that. It's to kind of just to tame your hair once it's clean. So I will be using this as well. So obviously with the shampoo, you do use it just as you would usual shampoo, but with the mask, you do just want to apply it to slightly damp hair. It does say to use gloves in the instructions. So I'm guessing this might stain your fingers a little bit. I'm not too sure, but I will let you know about that as I don't know if I really want to take gloves into the shower with me. Look, I'll take some as a precaution. I'm going to open this up and see what the color's like because I have heard that it is intense. Ooh, that is some bright shampoo. That is terrifying. But again, I just would like to thank AMR for sending this to me to trial out. Trial out? Trial. I think it's just trial. So I'm gonna go have my shower and I'll be back. It smells like a lolly. Like a sour lolly of some kind. Any first night? Oh, I can't pinpoint what it is, but I used to love it, whatever it was. So now I'm just putting in the serum just to try and hopefully stop some of the fuzz. I can't say I noticed a lot of difference in the coloration in the damp hair, but we'll see what it looks like when it's dry, shall we? I mean, I definitely think it's a little bit more, I'm not gonna say ashy, but gray. I didn't use the shampoo for the full five minutes. I probably put it in for about two minutes just because I don't want the really deep ash. Deep? Light ash? I'm not sure, I don't really want it gray or that really platinum blonde that people go for. I just like it a little bit. But we'll see how we go. I might change my mind at the end of the video. We'll see. So there you go, guys. That is my hair after one wash. Now, it's not a major difference, but I do see it a little bit myself. I'm not sure if it's coming through on camera or not. But it's almost like it's reflecting more of, like, a platinum blonde look. I just don't think the colors changed a lot yet. And I reckon if I did leave the shampoo in for the whole five minutes, it probably would have. But this is just more of just a slight ashy wash over it all, like you get what I'm saying. But I will update you on the next wash. Now I do not wash my hair every day. 
So I'm not gonna change my routine just to try and progress this faster. So I'll check in with you guys in probably maybe three days or so, and I'll let you know how it goes. I do apologize. I'm in a dressing gown, but it is like eight o'clock at night. So now I forgot to mention earlier that it did not stain my hands. I forgot to take gloves into the shower after the first wash. But I've had no staining of my hands at all, which is a fun. But I did notice that after the second wash, the color is a lot more ashy. Is that the correct word? I don't know, but it is not as yellow. Let's just go with that. Now I do apologize that I did not straighten it so you cannot see it quite as well. I feel like it's made my hair look darker almost. It might just be because it's a little bit wet still. But I will update you for another two hair washes because surely that will probably get me to about the two week mark. I will do a little quick spin so you can see at my entire hair so you do get a bit of a gist of what, what it looks like. Hey guys, welcome back. This is check-in number three. Oh, well, that's four fingers, not three. Three. But this is my hair after after the third wash. So I have been doing the shampoo and then the mask consecutively in the shower. And then I do just finish it off with a little bit of the serum. And this is what it looks like. The color definitely has changed. It is a lot more violet. I'd, I am terrible at describing things, as you will find out. As well, I'm gonna apologize for this whole thing. I have been doing just eye makeup for Instagram all day, but I only ever do one eye. I don't do the rest of my face at all. I do my one eye, then I wipe it off. But after I did this one eye, I'm like, my hair's dry now, let's film. And instead of wiping it off and my face looking like an absolute devil, I decided just to do the other eye. But if you would like to know what products I did use for this eye look, I will leave a link to my Instagram down below where you can check that out. But back to the hair. I will admit, I think it's made, just because of the contrast of the light of the hair, it's made my actual roots look a bit darker as I do dye my hair, obviously. I feel like you guys can tell that. I have noticed that my hair is pretty shiny and I don't know if that is the serum or not or the actual product, but it does feel really quite nice. Now I will spin around and show you the back of my hair just so you can get a more broad look of the actual color of it. Now I do know the first kind of look of my old hair that you saw it was straight. But the last time I washed my hair for this video, I will straighten it just so you can see because I have side comparison. So I do apologize that this isn't straightened, but I don't like straightening my hair too much. And I really am quite enjoying doing this to my hair. I don't usually do much to my hair. It's usually once it's dyed, that's it. I've never been one to put toner or no yellow shampoo in my hair before. Pretty much just because I'm lazy. But one more added bonus is it makes your hair smell delicious. I know that's a strange word to describe hair, but it is. I think I said in the start, this stuff, and I feel like the hair mask as well, has quite a strong smell to it. So if you are sensitive to actual smells, it might not be great for you. Kind of like a sherbet. Like, is that, what are they called? Are they called pixie sticks? Like a straw that's filled with like sherbet or just flavored sugar. I'm not really sure if there's a difference between the two. And like the ends are clamped, you bite them off and you shoot them back. That, that is what it kind of smells like, like a pink or an orange sherbet. Strange smell, not what you'd expect from hair products, but I'm not pissed off at all. It is delicious. I'm back once again with a hair update for you guys. I did just wash it for the fourth time dry it, straighten it as this is the last time that I will update you on it. So I have not been washing my hair with anything else other than this No Yellow Shampoo by Phenola. Well that's a lie, I've been using my own conditioner just because I don't have the conditioner to go with the No Yellow kind of theme. But this is the final result, I think it's pretty good. But I will put some comparisons up for you guys, I don't know where I'm putting them. It's too confusing. But I will be putting them up so you can see the difference. I do see a massive difference from my hair before I started and this hair now. I don't know if it kind of kept progressing as I washed my hair or if it just kind of plateaued after the first and second wash. You get what I mean.
So the products I were using in my hair were the Finola No Yellow Shampoo and the Finola No Yellow Hair Mask. As I did say earlier, I was gifted these by AMR Hair to try out and do a review for you guys. That is no way, shape or form going to change my view on the product. So the No Yellow Shampoo by Finola in the 350ml bottle, which is the size that I have been using, is $23.90, so 24 bucks. We don't think it's too bad. I mean, it's a lot more expensive than regular shampoo, but it doesn't do the same as regular shampoo. And I don't really know the price range of normal toners, but to me that doesn't sound too ridiculous, but that's just me. And the No Yellow Hair Mask in the 350ml, which is what I was using as well, also retails for $32.95, so $33. So it's $10 more. I mean, I haven't tried them separately, so I don't know if I wouldn't have got quite a drastic result if I was just doing the shampoo or if I was just using the mask or what the go is. I don't know if you do need the two hand in hand. I do like the results of using the both of them as a combination. It is quite nice. And it also smells delicious, which I have been putting this little serum that they gifted me very so kindly in the pack as well. So this Nutri-Care Crystal Serum, I think that's what it's called, retails for $29. 94 which you don't use much product each time you do use it and it smells like sherbet sherbet i think it gives quite a nice shine to my hair i mean moroccan oil or argan oil or any other oil probably would do the same i don't think it's anything too incredible but for a brand like a hair care brand i don't think that that's it is Wow, I cannot speak. I do not think that the price tag is ridiculous for an actual hair care brand, but it's up to you guys. If you want to spend that little bit and treat yourself, go ahead. But if you would like to see some comparison photos as well, I will link my Instagram down below for you to check out as I will be posting on there. And I was gifted a couple of extras when I was doing this that I don't know if I will use just because I don't feel the need and I'd love to give back to you guys. So if you are interested in potentially doing a giveaway, let me know down below. But thank you very much for following me on my little hair transformation journey. And thank you very much, AMR Hair, for sending me these lovely goodies to play with. And I'll see you next time. Bye.